my advice to potential applicants would be try to get as much experience as you can in any kind of legal role so paralegaling or open days or anything like that just so you can get a sense of what the job is actually going to be like and obviously you're not going to know at that stage in what it's like day to day but if you can point to things that you've enjoyed in the past then that's really helpful in terms of a potential interviewer or someone seeing you in that role in the future. Having come from a background of being growing up in a council estate and being the first in my family to go to university, I was always conscious amongst other law students and amongst other trainees that they've got aunts and uncles who are lawyers and it'll be much easier for them to get training contract and traineeship. I often thought I'm already kind of one step behind them from, from that perspective. I found actually it made me work a lot bit harder, I think, to try and get a training contract. I found actually with a lot of firms now, I think maybe in the past there was much more nepotism and much more who's your uncle and all. That's, you know, that's my friend's nephew, I'll give him a job. Whereas now I think firms are a lot more into diversity. There's lots of different ways of having diversity. And I think firms now are much more into realizing that diversity of experience is just as important. One of the things that I found when I was applying for training contracts is that I didn't necessarily have the type of work experience in the form of back schemes, I don't know, fancy internships that I could talk about. Um, actually, my you know my background in terms of work during summer holidays, etc., was probably limited to waitressing and, and working in bars. I don't think that you should feel worried about what you know what experience you've had and actually you'd be surprised that having um, very practical work experience albeit not in an office is relevant to what you do as a lawyer don't be disheartened if you don't get replies for a long time or if you get a lot of no's especially if you're starting out or you don't have that much experience or anything at first because you never know what it is in your cv that's going to stand out to someone or that's going to make someone interested even though to lots of firms they might have looked at my CV or my emails or my applications and thought, you know, this person doesn't have enough experience or they're not, they're not quite what we're looking for. You never know in life like, who's going to give you a chance. During the application process, it's obviously quite stressful and hard because you're trying to convey your personality and who you are in the form of, you know, 500 word application form that's really difficult to express your personality. But past that point, I think, especially through the back scheme, I feel like I was definitely able to show, to sort of be myself and, you know, meet other people who were being themselves and not trying to put on a, a mask and pretend that they were something they weren't. And after joining Farrah's, um, I've definitely felt completely comfortable being myself. I was a bit worried about Farrah for a while because I thought I definitely, I'm definitely not going to fit in here. Just because, you know, council estate, state school, I don't sound posh at all. I did I really worried for a while actually about coming to Farrah because I thought I'm not going to fit in or I'm going to have to hide certain things about myself. After interviewing with the partners here, I realised actually that was couldn't have been further from the truth. You know, the partners that I interviewed with and that I worked with, they actually love the, they, they don't want everybody to be the same shade of grey. And I, I actually find now that having the experience I've got in the background that I have is almost an advantage because it gives me a different perspective. What I learned on becoming senior partner was that other people's perceptions of the firm are very different from the firm that I recognised. And having a non-public school educated woman, a senior partner, caused few raised eyebrows. So I think people's perception of the firm and the wider legal profession it is now greater. Uh, it's still a profession that a lot of parents aspire for their children to follow, but it's certainly a much more welcoming and diverse and flexible profession than, than when I started out, you know, uh, back in the 1980s. A career in law was so far outside of what I would even consider an option. I think there's just a lot of misconceptions. I think that law can seem quite unwelcoming and quite sort of traditional and, and intimidating. Whereas actually, I think it needs more people from more diverse backgrounds. But for the firm, I'd love to kind of get rid of this notion that it's just a certain type of person that can work here and actually enjoy working here and do well here. Because I've, I've found from my personal experience that I'm really, I'm really happy here. 
and I know other people who are who are not from a kind of traditional lawyer background that are in the firm and actually they love it as well.